but this is a rich tradition on both teams. They almost are, are, are just mirror of each other. Metamore goes back, back, to, uh, Pat Ryan talked about it. Marty, Marty uh, Stromberg back there in, back in the 50s and 60s got it going. John Helmick won, went to the state tournament three times, got beat by Geneseo twice and won it 20 years ago, as you said today. Pat's comes from that John Helmick mold of ground chuck, if you want to call it. Put the ball on the ground. The key to the success of the Cyclones today is stop the fullback. If you stop the fullback in this offense, they're done. Metamora is on the field. The Cyclones are now starting the jog from North Grand Avenue. They'll be entering the gate that they've entered so many times. Hard to believe, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 22nd game played on this field this football season. This is game number 22. as you look at your radio dial. Goen shakes hands with Bundy and Reeb. The Cyclones come to the sidelines. We're ready to buckle it up. Let's get it on, Mike. Oh, uh, you're right. I'm fired up. This is as much pumped up as I've been since we went up to Washington two years ago and took it from them. And this is a great matchup. We've got packed crowd. Why did crowd. Metamora take the win? They, they, they chose, well, Cyclones deferred. They wanted to receive. That's why. Right. And the excitement is here. Oh, you can feel the adrenaline pump, Sam. Uh, Metamora, as you said, started over here at 8.30 and uh, got here about 10.30. They are pumped up across the way. And the Cyclone fans, all kinds of noisemakers here. Fans still filing in from both sides. A rainbow of colors, a cornucopia as we look down below, of black and gold and orange and red and across the way it's red and white for metamora it's the first time since the new concept with 32 teams starting that there's been a semifinal football game here at memorial stadium a year ago we were at belvedere on a saturday night who would have thought a year later we're back here at memorial stadium for a semifinal football game well never but me i tell you what i said this team's going to be as good as you're going to see all year defensively offensively they're not going to have the weapons Hey, everyone said I'm a liar all year, but I'm living and gloating in it right now. Here they go back. Receiving will be Delinsky on the near side, and on the far side will be Grebner. Grebner has a lot of speed. They're standing back at about the five-yard line. Nick Delinsky is a senior, 145 pound. Here comes Wells, boots the ball. It's going to be to Grebner. He's going to take it at the 10. They fake the reverse. He comes to the outside, and down he goes at the 15-yard line. J.C. Clark got there in a hurry, and so did John Bowen, number 44, and it'll be first and 10. They showed a little fake, and the Cyclones didn't buy it, and Grebner was stopped at the 15. Johnny Bowen did a good job of keeping his feet. He almost got knocked down, and if, if Johnny Bowen's not there, and J.C. Clark to make the tackle, there's a lot of room. But that's a good way to start. You put him back down on the 15-yard line, take the fullback away. That's what's got to go today. Capronica and Smith are the ends. Lions and Mitrione are the tackles. First and 10, they're out of the wishbone. They've got the full bone, and they go up the middle to Reeb, and Reeb is stopped after about two yards. Out to about the 17-yard line, Andy Reeb carries. Schneller's on the bottom of the pile, and also Mitrione is there, and Eric Wells. It'll be a second down. Give him a gain of about, uh, let's call it two and a half, maybe three. They came out the first time in the wishbone. Wide to the right side is Powers. Now they'll line up with double wing, one lone running back. Watch 22 dish room, he can fly. The fullback is Reed. They go to outside, they give the ball to dish room, and he has a hole and going to be out across the 20 to the 23 yard line. Cyclones missed a tackle in the backfield. They could have had him for a loss, but dish room on the counter carries out to the 23. That's going to be third down and a long three. Cyclones are get, doing, a, doing a great job stopping them up front. And uh, Metamore, you're probably going to see a ball thrown here. This is a passing situation for Third them. and three. Bundy comes in. Here they come out of the huddle. Again, Reeb. And they've got Sanderson and Dishroom, their wing. 
One lone running back behind the quarterback. In motion goes Dishroom. Here they come on the counter, and the ball is down. He kept the ball bootleg, and Cyclones didn't buy it, and they went in and slammed the door. Mitrione was there. Clark was there. And what a defense by the Cyclones. That's a way to start the game out. Number 85 will punt it away, Chris Eden. Swoboda at the 45-yard line. There's the snap. It's a good one. Here comes almost got the block. End over end. Bounces at the 50. Across the 50. And Swoboda bounces away from it. It goes all the way down inside the 37. Mike, you simply can't do that. And we've done that all year. We catch that on the fly. We've got it at their 45. As it turns out, we've got it at our own 35. A 20-yard mistake. But I tell you what, Cyclones came very close to yes, they did. blocking Patrick that punt. Anun Patrick Anun you just missed it. Here come the Cyclones out of the huddle. Ryan Wells. First and 10 Cyclones. 30 yard line. Let's watch the defense of Metamore. It's a good one. Tailback is Eric Wells. Eric Wells up the middle. Oh, forget about it. A yard or two. That is it. Second down and nine. You're right, Sam. They bottled it up on the inside there and stopped that first running play of the Cyclones. They're going to have to find out where they got a weakness and keep trying that spot. I think they'll put the ball in the air a little bit. Cyclones I... will. Sobota goes wide to the right side, to the left side. Two tight ends, Pete Smith and J.C. Clark. Second down, nine for the Cyclones at the 36-yard line. They'll play field position. Bootleg. He's going to look. He he throws, bombs away, Swoboda has got it, out of bounds, and he's just going to score, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, they threw the bomb, they threw the bomb, and Swoboda, I said they got to throw it, and they did, Swoboda got beside, I thought he was going out of bounds at the 30, he stayed in bounds, and the Cyclones lead it 6-0. Who's Mike Pilger? We've had some fantastic plays out of Brad Sabota, and there's another example. Just great concentration, keeping his eye on the ball, and not only catching the ball, but tiptoeing in for a six-point lead. 64-yard touchdown pass from Ryan Wells. Here comes the snap from Lions. Placement by Scro. Kick is up. I don't think it. Oh, no good. Off to the side. Dog got it. Back in a minute. I don't think they're stunned yet at Metamora, but they're yeah. thinking about it. No, nope, not at all. This is a good football team. On the far side is Grebner. On the near side is Delinsky. Big crowd over on the porch patrol today, and they're wondering about Tim Colrus. Timmy is in the hospital. He was hospitalized last night. More about that in a minute. Wells kicks the ball off, and a Grebner goes back inside the five. He's got it at the five, angles up to the 10, comes up, and down he goes at the 15-yard line. Schneller in on the tackle. Todd Schneller. Oh, my. This is the most emotion I've seen out of this cycle team all year. I have not seen this level of emotion out of these kids at all. Here they come out of the huddle. Reeve is the fullback. The quarterback is Joe Kenyon. Metamore going into a slight breeze early in the football game. They Cyclone jump. shift. They jump flags on the play. When the Cyclone shifted, when the Cyclone shifted, Metamore seemed to yep. jump. Sam, a year ago today, I was sitting in a parking lot here in Springfield while the wife and the kids went in shopping, and I listened to you and Mike, and I'm glad to be here today. <laughs> this excitement is tremendous oh, here today. This is, this is the biggest crowd I've ever seen here. I don't, I don't know about... And they're, they're still, still coming in. Look, at they're, they're still, still lined up yeah. on, on Converse Avenue. There's a hundred and some people still waiting to get in. At this least. Fantastic crowd. Both here sides. Here they come, first and 15. Ball goes back inside the 10 at the 9-yard line. Reeve is the fullback on the quarterback, Kenyon. Gives the ball to Dishroom, and Dishroom spins out, and he's Schneller across the 10 to about the 11-yard line. Schneller in on the tackle, give him a gain of a 2. That's a sophomore, Second down, 13. That's a sophomore meeting an All-Stater right there. Hello, how are you? You're Mike Lyons down. also there. Eric Wells in on the stop. Man, this I, there's just so much excitement I say, this you know, fantastic. I checked that, folks. He gained two. Second down 13. Reed, they have double wings. Up the middle they go. No, they keep the ball. And the quarterback pitches the ball. Turn the corner into the secondary dish room. Mitrion. And he may have the first down. Mitrione runs him out of bounds. Out across the 20 at the 21-yard line. It's going to be third. They ran the option that time and did a good job on it. Like third and five. Let's let the fans know. Want them to know exactly what the status is. Third and the ball is at the 20. They've got to get out to the 24, so it's third and four. Well, here's another big defensive play for the Cyclones. They hold them here. Again, Metamorphic. Tomorrow we'll have to punt the ball away. 7.02, remaining clock stop as Dishroom went out of bounds. Third down and four. Quarterback Kenyon has him down. Going to go up the middle, and he keeps the ball, and down he goes and didn't make it. Or going to be close. I don't he's think he's going to be it. close. I think he's short a yard. Schneller again. Kenyon on the keeper. And it's going to be short by about a yard, and they're going to punt the ball away. Whoa, my. The defense comes up big. I'll tell you what, Sam. 
this is something tough against Metamora that they haven't seen is they're, we're stopping their offense. We're shutting down the team that's been averaging, you know, 200 yards a game running the ball. 6'2", 185 pounder, standing back at about the 10 yard line. This time Swoboda's up at about the 50 yard line. There's the snap, not very good. End over end line drive, bounces again, Swoboda. Get, oh, he picks it up, and that's almost a mistake, and they swarm him at the 41. That time, Brad Swoboda couldn't, shouldn't have picked it up, and he did. And I'll tell you what, they almost got him in a hurry. Again, that was a low kick. If Metamore is two kicks, they've got tremendous bounces and, on them. And they've just barely gotten them off. Right. Cyclones are right there, close to Swoboda close to, to the far side, Bruni to the near side. Cyclones in a passing formation. One lone running back as Eric Wells. Have the ball at the 42-yard line. Ryan Wells ducks under center. Pat Stone up the middle. They go to Wells. Wells at the 45. He's at the 50, running over people. First down all the way down to the 46-yard line. He picked up 12 on the play. And Eric's doing a great job of picking up his legs, covering the ball, rolling his body, the chin over the ball, not going to fumble it, making the making the gains going, and gets a first down. Ball at the 46-yard line. Metamora plays a five-down lineman. Once in a while, they'll jump into a 4-4, four four, but mostly it's a 5-2. First and 10 Cyclones. Let's call it the 40, just short of the 45. Five yard line of Metamora. Again, two wide outs with Boda to the left side, Bruni to the near side. One lone running back, and that is Eric Wells. First and ten Cyclones. They lead at 6 0. We're midway through the quarter. And Wells is going to throw. He looks, he throws. It's caught, caught by Pete Smith down at the 40 yard line. 14 yard gain from the 40. And I'll tell you what, Wells threads the needle. He does an excellent job there. In the warm ups, he practiced kicking field goals while Leonard worked with the receivers, but it's paid off. 5.07 remaining. Cyclones lead at 6-0. They're going with the wind. Left to right. Ball on the far hash mark. Up the middle, Wells. Wells dances away and gained a yard, and that's all. A gain of no gain on the play. Ball at the 30. Ryan Schertz is a cousin of Steve Schertz, a Griffin coach. Second and 10. Ball at the 30-yard line. Cyclones moving left to right, right in the middle of the field. Wells looks, throws, incomplete. Wrong pattern. Bruni was running a post pattern, and Wells threw an out. Bruni to the near side, two tight ends, Clark and Pete Smith. Grippers the up back out of the eye formation. Third down, 10 Cyclones, and Wells is going to throw. He looks, he throws it out here to Eric Wells. He's at the 30, gets outside to the 25, dances away, and I think he got the first down. He dove inside the 20 and had the it. first down. Shirts is there, and also Steve Mays, first down Cyclones. Great heads up play by Ryan Wells. Every week we've seen Ryan Wells mature. He's gotten better, everyone can say that, for the first two games he's had seven interceptions and he comes in here today throws the ball doesn't see anything open throws it out to his brother his brother scoots and dances and jives for a first down four minutes ten seconds remaining in the first quarter cyclones on top 6-0 they have it down at the 19 yard line swoboda far to the left side bruni to the near side one lone running back is eric wells the quarterback is ryan wells clark and smith in tight give the ball off to eric wells he's at the 15 he runs over down to the 10 to the 9 to the 10 yard line and a quick opener and a quick hitter and they found the hole they won and they move the ball down to the 10-yard line, make it second down and one. Well, the Cyclones are doing a, job, a good job of controlling the line up front, something that they haven't done a good job of in the first quarter. This is the best offense we've seen them do, except maybe against Lincoln and Jacksonville. There are still people lined up on Converse Avenue waiting to get in. It may be the biggest crowd ever here in the history of Memorial Stadium. Second down and one for the Cyclones from the 10-yard line. Quarterback sneak Ryan Wells wedges down to the six-yard line. First and goal, Cyclones. I'll tell you what, they're moving the ball well. Very impressed early. Tim Colrus this morning at the hospital. First thing he says is somebody get me a radio so I can listen to the game. They're still test. They'll keep him tonight for observation. First and goal, Cyclones. Pitch the ball back to Eric Wells. He's at the five. Cuts inside down to the one-yard line. Wells gets down to one. Shirts and Grebner. Second and goal from the Cyclone from the two-yard line. Here comes Mitch Rion into the ball game. Mitch Rion, the big guy at 265, lines up in the backfield. This porch gang gives the Wrigley Field effect here. <laughs> you see them over there, yeah, Bobby, aren't look, they great? They're waving, they're Oh, bumped. they're beautiful. A couple weeks ago, a guy fell right through a hole in the porch when we talked to him. <laughs> Second goal from the two-yard line. Mitriel's the power back. They give the ball to Wells. Wells behind. He's they, in. Oh, he didn't. No, they didn't. He He's got to the one-foot line. They're not going to call it, Mike. The oh. linesman makes the call. About third, third and about a lace of a football, because he was, I, you couldn't get much closer than that. Same play, or may, they may try the quarterback. No, I think you keep Mitch Rion, you simply follow him. Yep. Bring the big meat man in. He's like a bulldozer, just, just paves a path on through. Here come the Cyclones out of the huddle. Third down and goal from the one-foot line. Everybody power eye. Mitch Rion's ahead of Eric Wells. Quarterback Is sneak, in. Ryan Wells. Touchdown, Cyclones. Ryan Wells scores with 148 remaining. And the Cyclones, that time, folks, went about 60 yards. We'll find out in just a minute in how many plays. Cyclones have their second score. 
as they went 55 yards in six plays. They lead it 12-0 with 148 remaining. Big Metamora's point. crowd, huge crowd there is, is stunned. Silent. Well, Silent. they just saw their team. Cyclones are going to take a timeout. he does and it's incomplete that time they did a good job we're back here at memorial stadium cyclones have gone for two-point conversions 10 times this year been successful one that's been a part of the game that hasn't been real good deep ryan wells will kick it away if they resort to trickery mike they're admitting a few things though here come wells will tee it up cyclones lead at 12-0 with 148 remaining and the quarter here comes wells end over end kick going to be grebner takes it back at the five he'll keep it he comes out to the 10 now he's got some running room to the 15 to the outside he was almost held and down he goes at about the 30 yard line he winged it out to the left side and grebner and the cyclones wells. came in a hurry wells, wells in on the tackle yeah, well you just saw him his head just whiplash hey, they're up there tuning us in listen to the cyclones Ball at the 29-yard line. This has been the best field position for Metamora since the football game began. 140 remaining here in the first quarter. Cyclones on top, 12-0 if you just tuned in. So far, Metamora stymied. Reeve is the fullback, goes in motion, and they go off to Reeve inside and Nothing. nowhere to go. He Nothing. comes out to about the 25-yard line, a gain of one, the middle of the Cyclone line. Schneller is in. Andy Reeve, 6'180", senior, is swarmed under. Scott Klein trying to set the block, and the Cyclone smothered it to the 26-yard line. Mitrione and Schneller as the clock moves down, 117-116. Here they come out of the huddle. Eden goes wide to the right side. They have double wing. In the backfield is Sanderson. In motion goes Dishroom. The one lone running back, and they are going to throw. Here comes the look. He throws. It is caught and dropped. That was Reeb, and Reeb coming out of the backfield up at about the 35-yard line. Incomplete. Jeremy Minder had the coverage. Pete Smith did a good job of applying the pressure that time on Kenyon. Here comes the quarterback, Joe Kenyon. He has one lone running back. That's Reeb in behind him. Dishroom and Sanderson are the running backs, and he's going to roll. Here comes screen. a screen set up over the middle. It is caught into the secondary and going to be short of the first down. Schneller makes the, oh, big pass, big tackle. They're going to be short by three. They have a Grebner underneath. It was a screen. You called it, Mike, and Schneller makes the tackle. If he doesn't, they've got the first down. Fourth and three. They've got to punt it again. Man, six, six offensive, or nine offensive plays. Three of them, uh, three more additionally are punts. They've got no first downs. It's been a stifling. Eden is back punt uh, to punt the ball away, and Swoboda's back at the 35-yard line. Here's the snap. It's a good one. They won't get to this one. End over end kick. Ball's going to bounce again, and it does. And uh, Swoboda get away from it, Brad. Down across the 30 to the 29-yard line. Some more with no first downs. Here they come out of the huddle. Cyclones have it. They have it uh, at about, we'll check it. It looks like their own 29-yard line. Ball on the far hash mark. They're going to move right to left as you look at your dial. Pitch the ball to Wells. Needs a block on the corner. Didn't get it. And now turns the corner and picks up a couple out across the 30 to about the 33. Give him a gain of four. They saw it was coming, and they came over and contained. They kept him on the sideline, and Powers knocked him out of bounds. And the main bleachers are jam-packed. Second down, five Cyclones. I formation Wells. Second man through to Eric Wells. Then picks a hole and picks up about three or four. Going to be short of the first down. Just power football, baby, right here. That's what Cyclones are knocking the, knocking the Redbirds off the line of scrimmage. And I'll tell you what, this is a good defense. I've seen them on film. They do a good job defensively. But the Cyclones, boy, they are just fired up, pumped up, and moving them out. I want to see another score. Here they come out of the huddle. Now Bruni's going to be in the slot right, and Swoboda's going to be wide outside him to the top of your screen. Third down and two Cyclones at the 37-yard line, their own 37. Pitch the ball to Wells. Wells into the zone. Oh, they didn't get it. I thought he had it, and I'm telling you, Reeb. He normally cuts back against the grain, and he wasn't allowing for the linebacker, Reeb. No, I agree with you. There's the snap, low snap. He's going to throw, and he incomplete, oh. and he was wide open. They were going to fake it. Oh! First and 10, Metamar at the 35-yard line of the Cyclones. Up the middle, Reeb to the outside, picks up three, gets down to the 27. What you did here... You put him in four down territory. Capronica and Schneller in on the tackle. Patrick's got to run. And Patrick runs. There's no one covering him. He's got one on one with the returner. Yeah. I know, but second down and seven. Ball at the 27 yard line. Reeve is the fullback. The quarterback That's is offside. Pitch the ball back to Vogelsang to the outside. Sanderson turns the corner and almost has the first down out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. 
First and 10, let's see if that changes the momentum of this ball game. First and 10, Metamore at the 25 yard line. Here they come out of the huddle and they're gonna go out of the fullback. They have the wishbone. Second man through is Sanderson and not much, a yard or two. Fumble, fumble the ball, fumble the ball! Fumble the ball, the Cyclones have it! Rudy! John, we just tore up some equipment, folks. We're sorry. We'll be on the air. And John Spaulding, the captain from the morning show, is going to get us some new equipment. Everybody's here today. Wells has it up the middle. Ducks in over Man, right in the middle hit. of the line. Nowhere to go. Now Metamora is gang tackling. The adrenaline just keeps going with Reeve, and he made two great tackles so far in a football game. No gain on the play. Clock moving with 9.08 remaining. Here they come out of the huddle. Two wideouts. Bruni slotted right. The wind, not much of a factor. Wells may put it in the air again. He's going to run the option. Ducks inside, needs a block, pitches the ball back to Eric Wells. Eric Wells out to the line of scrimmage. That's all. Grebner, loss. They need to get a first down. They don't want to punt back here. They want to get a first down. Ball back at the 19-yard line. Third down and 10. Cyclones, ball on the near hash mark. We're early in the second quarter. Second heart, Griffin 12. Metamora, nothing. Here they come out of the huddle. Bruni goes far to the right side. And Swoboda is winged left. One lone running back, Eric Wells behind Ryan. Ryan ducks under center, Pat Stone. Fakes inside, the reverse they go to Swoboda. Cuts up the middle of the line of scrimmage, and that's all. And again, exactly. Patrick on is open. Patrick is open, <laughs> but let's don't, Nobody's let's on don't do it, it again. Somebody get over there, please. Ryan Wells, Grebner's back at about the 50-yard line. Wells, there's the snap, it's good. Here comes the kick, end over end, high kick. Fair catch, going to be signaled at its 50-yard line. Metamora has it. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Blackout restrictions apply. Sam Adonia back here up the middle they go Kenyon's going to keep the ball ducks inside a yard or two that is it the quarterback Kenyon runs the option faked inside to Reed Capronica is there and Schneller is there what the Cyclones are doing now is they're taking the scrape of their linebacker to pitch Metamora like the has the wind to their back wide to the left side is Bundy he's their wide receiver they have a double winged and that is dish room along with Sanderson the fullback is Reed the quarterback is Joe Kenyon duck under center Ryan Schertz going to run the bootleg he looks he throws it oh! almost intercepted by Wells, and if he does, he's got sideline ahead of him. I tell you he what, had the step in front of the defender at the 45-yard line, right in front of the Metamora bench. Third down and eight, ball at the 48. Metamora's got to get to the 40-yard line for a first down. Cyclone four down lineman. They show to Reeve. He throws, and is intercepted, hit by Capronica to the outside, and Minder is down at the 45-yard line. Brian Capronica got to Kenyon, and the ball was picked out of the air by Jeremy Minder. Cyclones have it first and 10 at the 45. Second turnover by by Metamora, now the Cyclones got to capitalize. Brian Capronica, an outstanding effort for the Cyclones. Got to the quarterback, Kenyon, just as he threw it. It watch, was a wobbly watch, pass, watch only a went big 15 throw here. Watch a big throw here. Rooney to the far side, Swoboda to the near side. They both got single coverage. The quarterback as well. He looks, he looks, he throws. Man wide open is Clark, and it's incomplete, and fed it for Smith. J.C. Clark is wide open on the other side. Oh, my. <laughs> See what Kenny Leonard is telling J.C. Clark as you go up. They were kind of both in the same area, about 15 yards apart. 6.25 remaining in the second quarter. Cyclones on top, 12-0. Ryan Wells has him down. Timeout, Cyclones. Cyclones back on offense. Second down and 10. Ball at their own 45-yard line. Up the middle they go. Wells is going to keep it. Ducks inside and lost three yards. He tried to run the option left. And Metamora now doing a great job. Let's see what the Cyclones do. Ryan Wells has a third down and long. Throw deep if they intercept, so what? Because they don't run it coast to coast. Wells is going to look. He looks. He throws. Bad pass. Almost intercepted. Grebner back to receive the punt. Cyclones. Wells back at about the 30-yard line. The snap. It's good. Here comes the kick. High kick. Cyclones get some coverage. Fair catch. They've got it first and 10 at the 30-yard line. 544 remaining in this second quarter. Cyclones on top, 12-0. Metamora has first and 10 at the 30, Bobby. They finally got all the patrons in here at the 630 mark of the second quarter. <laughs> <laughs> first and 10. Here comes Metamora out of the huddle. Reeb is the one lone running back in behind the quarterback, Joe Kenyon. And they run the counter, and they go off inside. Dish room and nowhere to go. Dish room Hello. is stuck by Schneller, and Kinsler was there, and also Eric Wells. Give him a gain of maybe a yard, second down and nine. They run the double wing. They counter. They face inside, fake it inside to Reed. They give it to Dish room, and he slammed to the turf. The problem with that offense against this Cyclone defense is you got those guys pulling. They're so quick and big up front is they fill the line of scrimmage up right away. The defense does. And if you don't get anything outside, 
you're in trouble, and that's what's happening here. Now, the Cyclones got to watch, watch a trick play. Watch trick play here Step on the pass. Second down. Trick watch play trick on the play. pass. I agree. Bundy goes wide to the left side. Watch some trickery here. Second down and nine. Metamore at their own 31-yard line. Here goes the bootleg. Kenyon's got all night. He looks. He throws incomplete. Incomplete up at about the 43-yard line. Swoboda was the defender intended for Bundy. And it's incomplete, and it's going to be third down. We've seen a good job of Cyclone pass defense today. I've been very impressed. They've really come a long way. Third Metamore has long. one first down in the football game. Great Cyclones defense. lead at 12-0, under five minutes remaining in the first half. The, the come winner back. plays Providence New Lenox for the state championship next Friday night at 7 o'clock at Hancock Stadium, ISU. Third down and nine. Quarterback Kenyon in motion. Sanderson, here comes the rush. He's got some time. He looks, he throws. Dish boom, dish boom is short of the first down. He got out to the 38-yard line. Wells is there. It's going to be fourth down. They're going to have to punt it away. They've got fourth and two. They throw to dish room. He got out to the about the 39. They had to get to the 41 for a first down. And Metamore, once again, will pump the ball away. Good defense by the Cyclones again. Covering that. They're right there. They don't let him roll out. And he's, they're right there to stop the pass. Johnny Bohan was also there to help out. And Eric Wells on the hit. Bowen and Wells. That's right. Bowen a sophomore and Eric Wells the senior. J.C. Clark was on the sideline taking a little breather. Chris Eden in to punt the ball away, standing back at about the 26. Swoboda, he's got a win behind him now. End over end, low line drive kick, bounces again. This time it bounces in the air, but again, a good bounce all the way down to the 25, 20, well, the 29-yard line. Unbelievable. The, the kicks don't go 10 feet off the ground. Nothing fancy. First and 10 Cyclones. Wells is the quarterback. Gripper's now the fullback. He's the upback. Gripper will carry this, and that's my prediction. Nope, picks the ball back to Wells. Wells into the secondary, cuts against the grain, and carries out to about the 34, 35-yard line, giving him a gain of about uh, six on the play. Mike Nardini on the left side, Bob Verderber's on the right side doing the color commentary. Last week we had Jim Cozzolino and Bobby Erickson. I'm telling you, we've got them coming from everywhere. Second down Cyclone, second down four. Ball at their own 35-yard line, 3-12 remaining in the first half. One wide, two wide outs of this side. They pitch the ball back to Wells. They're going to go the opposite way. Wells ducks inside. Ooh, oh, and he almost breaks it. Out across the 35 to the 37-yard line. And I'll tell you, if he gets by Smith, he's got daylight aplenty. A lot of daylight, a lot of daylight. What they're doing is they're running the strong side of the Cyclones. They're putting their strength to the wide side of the field. And it's the 22nd game played on this turf this year. First and 10 Cyclones at the 42-yard line. Their own 42. Up the middle, they go Gripper. Gripper just wedges it out and gets it out to about the 45-yard line. Middle of the line. Dudley, Smith, and Minger in on the stop, and the clock continues to run with 2.35 remaining in the first half. Cyclones on top of Metamora, 12-0. Cyclones have totally controlled the first half offensively and defensively, and they just got to continue. It'd be nice to get a score here, and they've got only one timeout left with about 2.25. Run clock, Mike. Run clock. Give him a gain of three. Second down, seven. Ball at the 45. Got to get down to about the 48-yard line of Metamora. Eye formation, quarterback Wells has him in the eye behind him, two wide outs of this side. Long count coming for Wells. Up the middle he goes to Gripper, and Gripper's caught from behind. He comes out across the 45, and the man making the tackle, Ted Minger. And I tell you, if he doesn't get Gripper, Gripper has a lynch in front of him laying a block, and Minger just reaches out and grabbed him on the ankle, give him a gain of one, and there was daylight. Yep, and the crowd here knew it. We heard a big O, and they, they knew there was nothing but daylight. Cyclones are just like one step away. Here they come, third down and about four or five or seven for the Cyclones, excuse me, third and seven, and Wells is going to throw. He looks, he throws over the middle, it is caught, Smith, Pitt at the 20 down to the 17-yard line. Pete Smith took it away from Grebner. Big Pete Smith, the tight end, took it away from Grebner. If he keeps his balance, he scores. Well, that was tough to keep his balance because he caught that in the traffic, and he makes a fantastic catch. Cyclones got to put the ball in the end zone. Cyclones go without a huddle. First and 10, ball on the near hash mark. Metamora may take a timeout just to try to get their defense organized. First and 10, Cyclones at the 19-yard line. Same play. Clock moving, 125 remaining in this. No silliness here. And they go up the middle to Wells, and Wells to the outside, carries over people down to the 16-yard line. Give him a gain of, let's call it three. Second down, clock moving, 105, 104. Cyclones only have one timeout. But they may have to pass the ball, as you said, Mike. Second down and about seven. Ball at the 16-yard line. Clock moving under a minute remaining in the first half. 
and Wells is going to look. He throws, he throws, wide open, touchdown, yes! J.C. Clark, touchdown! He was wide open in the end zone, and he hit J.C. Clark, and the Cyclones score with 47.4 seconds on a 16-yard touchdown pass from Ryan Wells to J.C. Clark. Oh, you gotta love it. Well, you, you know, gotta love it. You know, well, put it right on the money. Right on the money. They were saving they, that they've play. They've been saving the passing game all year. That's what it is. <laughs> we knew all along this team could pass the football. I tell you what, though, I was with Kenny Leonard this week, and we he, he drew some things up, and he great coaching job by Ken and his coaches. That double tight end set has given Meta more problems. 18-0, Cyclones are going to go for the one. The quarterback, Scro will hold it. Snap placement, Wells' kick is up, and it is no good! Office building, we contacted Wiley Office. We wanted our office to convey a professional and organized image. Their sales and design team created a functional office layout, coordinated the interior decor, and recommended office furniture that was compatible with our workflow and comfortable for our employees. They took care of the planning so we could take care of our clients. Cyclones lead it 18 to nothing. 18 to nothing with 47.4 seconds remaining in the first half. Six plays. Six plays on that drive for the Cyclones. 71 yards. 71 yards, six play, the big play, the pass to Pete Smith, then the touchdown pass to J.C. Clark. It's a huge crowd, and there are more people coming, I'll they, guarantee They, they are. They're still there coming are people in. still fi trying to find a parking spot and trying to get into the stadium. This is the biggest crowd I've ever seen here. Well, my God, yeah, I, I, I'm... Who said that this year already once, I think? I Wasn't think it so. a Lanphier game? Or? Yeah. Rebner and Galinsky deep to receive. But I'll tell you what, boy, the Cyclones are clicking today. I mean, there's a huge crowd down below us and the left auxiliary bleacher. Across the way, there are coaches from all over the area watching the ball game. Here comes Ryan Wells. What a beautiful day. End over end kick taken by Deglinski. He almost slips, doesn't go to his knee. Stays on his feet up the middle. Look out into the secondary. And Fumble. Now goes. Fumble the ball. Cyclones. And I don't know. They're still battling for it. The Cyclones may have it. There's a scrum going on at the 40 yard line. I think the Let's Cyclones see what got the call it. is. It's a loose ball. And they'll unpile it. And Pat somebody's going to have it at the 40 yard line. Patrick on you. Nobody the has made the claim yet. It's still underneath, and Metamora says they've got it, and they do Ooh, at the 40-yard line. Who is that? Someone had it right in their hands. Delinsky had 54. it. Joe Kinsler, Kinsler had Joe it. Kinsler had it, and the ball got away. That was a hit. Patrick Anu made one heck of a heck of a smack on Delinsky the... got a hole and brought it out to the 40-yard line. 32, 31 one seconds. Play maybe. They're not in any hurry, Mike, to take the to come out of the huddle, are they? I don't think they're in a hurry to do anything. 23, 22. Don't let them get behind secondary. They're going to try something. Kenyon with 18, 17. Back up. 16, 15. There's the snap. He's going to look. He throws out here. It's the hook and ladder to the outside into the secondary at the 50. Rebner has it still on his feet and goes all the way down to the 37-yard line. It was a hook and ladder. Six seconds remaining. The hook and ladder is they Time threw up. the ball out to Delinsky, and he caught it, and then he laterode back to Grebner, and Mitch Rione trails the play and makes the tackle. That was reminiscent of what Rantoul did in 1987 Don't over there. bring that up. <laughs> I'm sorry I did, Mike, but that was what they did. A lot of hook and ladders and yep. stuff like that. 30 seconds. Quarterback is Kenyon. Cyclones, here they come. Down line, and here comes Capronica, but he's got some time. Throws it. It's in the air. It's into the end zone. It is intercepted, intercepted by the Cyclones in the end zone. Yes, Bill it's intercepted Bruni, by 10. Bruni. And that's the end of the first half. The Cyclones are halfway or just on the other side of Lincoln going to normal. We'll be back. Halftime score. too quick. Metamora may try the onside right here. We've got 24 minutes of high school football remaining for somebody. The winner plays Providence New Lenox and the 4A state championship. Unbelievable. A special thanks to the captain, John Spaulding, from 104.5 FM, Springfield's most listened to radio station and most listened to morning show. And Spaulding, I tore some equipment up, folks. I got to tell you, and Spaulding went on a relief mission. Andy, we Ooh, where'd you go, man? We got to thank the guys game. at Radio Shack for taking care of you. The guys at Radio Shack, Spaulding. Thank you, Stevenson Drive. 
uh, Radio Shack. Reed kicks it away. Short kick. One of the Cyclones. The ball bounces, and now it's picked up. It's picked up by Swoboda. Comes to the middle, spins away, and goes down out across the 25 of the 27-yard line. The man who kicked the ball away in on the tackle, and it'll be first and 10 Cyclones. And let's call it the 28-yard line. Cyclones start at the 28-yard line. They need a big drive here, like you said. Eat some clock. Said. Eat some clock. Yep. First and 10 Cyclones, 28. And the one thing you don't do is put it on the ground in this second half. Well, you're sitting in the driver's seat, buckle up and drive. Metamora had some turnovers in that first half. First and 10 Cyclones, 28-yard line, up to Wells. Wells across the 30, out to about the 33-yard line. Eric Wells, Gary Eric Bundy Wells had to come up from the area. secondary to make the stop, along with Ted Minger in on the stop. And also number 57, Ryan Schertz. So it gave him a gain of about, uh, let's call it about five, second down five from the 28 out to the 33. Ball on the far hash mark, and the Cyclones would like nothing more than to grind it out, folks. Yep. Just eat clock. So boat it to the near side, Bruni to the far side. The tight ends are Pete Smith and J.C. Clark. Second down, five, one lone running back, and Wells has it, finds a hole into the secondary, has a first down. He's at the 45-yard line, still on his feet, all the way out of the 45 to the 47-yard line. One thing Joe Ryan told me is 15-yard gain for Wells. He, he said, I have never seen tight ends block as well as Cyclones. He said J.C. Clark and Pete Smith are two of the best blocking tight ends he's ever seen. That's quite a compliment.
back, five yards penalty, moves the ball from the 27 back to the 22. Hope you're enjoying it. Again, the special auto number for Dale Schofield, I know, and his wife are listening today. They're listening everywhere. They're listening at Franny's. They're listening at George Ranks. Kelly Howard's got the radio on at George Ranks. Some of your old listening. fans back in Lincoln. Lincoln, I know. Lincoln's all Lincoln's tuned in for this one. Second down and about seven. They're going to run the ball to Sanderson. Sanderson in. Down he goes. He couldn't turn the corner, and he didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. And guess who? <laughs> Mr. Schneller, number 56. There all day. All state the final play. I'm not sure Matamora is going to get another play at nope. the end of this quarter. It's going to be third down and about seven. The Redbirds of Matamora are struggling against the Cyclone black and gold defense. Here they come out of the huddle. Third down. Big play. If they don't make it here, they're going to have to pump Six. the ball away. They're going to count it down. Kenyon ducks under center. In motion Two. comes Grebner. They got the play off. They're going to throw wide open is Kenyon. He looks. He throws. It is rainbow left. Grebner makes the grab at the end of three. Flag on the... No, it's not. I'm sorry. We're at the end of the third quarter. Sacred Heart Credit Union, your savings and assets are loaned to other members. Sacred Heart Credit Union is... Back here at Memorial Stadium, one quarter to go, the porch patrol. I wonder if those guys are going to find a porch up in normal if the Cyclones hold on to win. They get the first and ten, completed a third and eight pass. And Grebner took it. Swoboda simply jumped too early. Mike, you're right. Here they come. Metamora, first and 10 at the Cyclone, 48-yard line. In motion comes Griffith. They have one wing, and they're going to go. Kenyon's going to throw. He looks. He throws over the middle. It is caught. Caught, and it's Bundy, and he may score. He's still on his feet at the 30. At the 25, 20, 15, 10. Down he goes. Yeah. come out of the huddle. They would love to score early. Their trail, 18-0. Metamora, Kenyon in the quarterback. Reeve is the one lone running back. Sanderson, along with Dishroom. Flags all over the play, and they'll bring it back. It's Reeve. He gets down to the five-yard line. It's going to be an illegal procedure against Metamora. Ball goes back at the 17-yard line. Five-yard penalty. Illegal motion against Metamora. First and 10 from the 17. Just underway in the fourth quarter. 11-31 remaining in the football game. Paul Tomazzoli picks up the flag. His crew is out of the Hillsborough Litchfield area. One guy's from Newton. Set first and 15. Ball at the 17-yard line. In motion, and they're going to run. He's got plenty of time. He ducks inside. He looks. He throws. It's incomplete. And 10-4, Reed. Reed. But uh, Bowen got in there and knocked the ball down. I agree. They don't score. They're done. They're done. Ken Lucas has, Cook. Kenyon has him down. Oh, not here. They're short a guy on the field. Uh, the Cyclones have him covered. They do. In motion now comes Grebner, and he's going to throw. He looks. He throws. Tip. Batted in the air and incomplete. Cyclones batted in the air. Kenyon rolled left. And you've got Metamora doing what they don't do very well or don't like to do. They can do it well. They just would rather not do it. Just pass the ball. Right. It's third down and 15. Ball at the 17-yard line. Far, far hash mark. They run the counter to Dishroom. Dishroom ducks inside, and down he goes. Didn't get it. Across the 15 to the 14, Jason. C. Clark was the man, first one on the stop. Actually, Phil Pierce had come up to center. He, he turned it up to get three on. It's going to be fourth down and 12. And they've got to go for it. They have no choice. Yep. And about Phil Pierce, that was a nice phone call. Wasn't that nice? That brought a tear to mind. Yeah, that was nice. 10.55 remaining. This is the ball game for Metamora, folks. Get up on your feet. Let's go. This is the ball game. If the Cyclones hold here, they will win this game. Ken Leonard exhorts the crowd to get up, and the crowd is up. The crowd is up and standing. Fourth down and 12 for Metamora. At the 15, they've got to get down to about the three for the first down. In motion goes Dishroom. Kenyon on the counter. He rolls. He looks. He looks. He throws. Caught. Touchdown. Touchdown, Touchdown to Bundy. Oh, big play, big play. You know, Mike, they had him. He rolls right, and he hit Bundy at the two, and he right raced in. They rolled right. They showed play action fake. Kenyon rolled, looked and looked, and Bundy, the tight end, 
185 senior makes the grab, and now, folks, it gets interesting with 1027. Yeah, you can go for two. Cyclone still. No, they'll go for one. Why not even think about it? No, go for two. Yeah, ooh, that's, that's because you only need a field that's goal. Right. Here they come. They'll go for two. Watch Reed coming right up the yeah, middle. Wing back 45 is wide open. Kenyon up the middle, uh, catches the ball back, and he's in. This room that's is true. in. They got in two, and it's 18 to 8. Don't you dare go away. Metamora has woke up back in a minute. It should be pretty good field position. Taken by Swift Otis. Right at the middle of the 20. Hit the 25. Still on his feet. And got out across the 30 to the 34-yard line. Okay. Mike, you got to get three first downs right here. Three first downs. Shirts in on the tackle. Three first downs is going to take off about five minutes off the clock. Ten minutes, 20 seconds remaining in this football game. Cyclones lead it 18 to 8. And run the clock. What you want to do. Clock is moving. But you've got to get some first downs. Going to the one-back set. Matamora did it on a big play, a couple big plays. Won the pass on third and eight. Long. And then they had fourth and 12, and they got it done. Ryan Wells up the middle and nowhere to go. Across the 35 to the 37-yard line. Give me a gain of two. Minger and Powers in on the tackle. Cyclones, and this is... Eric Wells, 100 yards. Went over 100. Unofficially, Eric Wells, 100 yards, unofficial rushing 100 yards in the ballgame. Ball at the 37-yard line, ball right in the middle of the field. Bruni to the left side, the boat to the right. Cyclones look like they're groping a little right now. A first down would really pick up their spirits. Second down, and let's call it eight. Ryan Wells is going to throw. Here comes pressure. He looks. He's going to run. Pump fakes, and he runs and carries out across the 40 to the 41-yard line. Bundy in on the tackle, and it's going to be third and five. He stayed in bounds. Clock moving with 9-12 remaining. Shirts and powers combined for the shirts and powers in on the tackle. Yep, run to the wide side. Run to the wide side. Give it to Eric Wells. And let's see. you got to get a first down out to the 45 to keep the clock moving. Third down and four. One wide out to each side. Metamore, they think this is the ball game here for them, but they can hold. Third down and long. Wells goes up the middle to Eric Wells. He didn't make it. I mean, oh, wait a minute. No, he's short, short. Short a half yard. He spun out of trouble. He was hit at the 40. Spun away, got to the 44. Dudley in on the tackle. And it's going to be fourth down and about two. And they've got a punt. You got a punt. You have no choice. Fourth down and two. Clock moving, 825 remaining. If it were a foot, maybe you do. Right. But you don't hear you pump the ball away. Gregor's going back. Watch the block. Ryan Wells is standing back. Watch about the block. His they got everybody up now. Snap is there. Not much of a rush. End over end. No stop him. There it is, Mikey. This is the season for Metamore and the season for the Cyclones with 7.57. Thrown. Gary Bundy is incomplete. Minder was in on the coverage. Also Swoboda. Cyclones had Schneller and Mitch Rion and Pete Smith putting pressure on. Second I, down. I like that bringing Schneller. I like I like bringing him. intercepted by Bruni, but the Cyclones had it well defended. Yeah, they Bruni did. was in. Bruni the was there. Phil Pierce was there step for step two. Third down. Now, that don't let up now, fellas. Let's go. Let's get this one right now. Sean Ryan comes into the ball game. Capronica goes out. There's the blitz, and he's down. Schneller got Kenyon for a loss at the 18. Schneller said they're going to throw it. It was play action, and Schneller blitz. What wow. a great <laughs> What a great you. defensive call, Bobby V. He's been the man. Schneller, we'll have to ask Henry how many tackles he's got. Well, Henry doesn't know. He'll make it up. <laughs> <laughs> how about a lot? Doesn't a lot. Ball back at the 17-yard line. Clock moving with 719. I wouldn't even, if I were Swoboda, I wouldn't even go back and try to field it. He stands back at the five-yard line. Do not rough him. Do not rough him. Oh. Nice snap. He's got the end over end. Robbly kick. Get away get from away. it. Cyclones get away from it. And the ball is dead at the Cyclones. Have it at the 42-yard line of Metamora. Oh, no, 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 Back no, no. 30. What? They got it at the 37-yard line. Mike, here's the 50, and that's the 42. Oh, that's look where he's putting his mark. Oh, he's going to say it was hit. I apologize. It was hit by Metamora at the 37. One official marked the 42, and the other one said no, 37. Hit Dudley in the hip. Did it? Yeah. Huh? It yeah. grazed Dudley's helmet as it was coming down. His hip. First and 10 Cyclones. We are six minutes and 45 seconds away from going to the state championship. Oh, 
long time. Do you believe this? Oh, my. Rock and roll here, ago. baby. First and 10 Cyclones at the 38-yard line of Metamora. Just one clock up the middle. They go to Wells. Wells wedges his way. Not much down to the 36-yard line. Gain of two, but don't worry about it. Keep the clock running. Tackle made by 77. What? Some of the people leaving, not the Metamora fans, that clad of red. That's a sea of red over there. No, they're here at the end. They're great yes, fans. They are, and I hear it's a great place to play football. The official great place to raise your family, actually. Fantastic school system. Second down, seven. Wells hands off to Eric Wells, and Eric is thrown for a loss. Back behind the line of scrimmage, Matt Powers, but it's not. That's all the way back at the 39-yard line. But that's the least of the Cyclones' concern right now. Yep. Thank you. 
go ahead. Where you go here? Congratulate them all. They all play, they all work. Yeah. 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 You can't fucking restart really now. Providence, baby, here we come. Bring it back it up. Can I get some of the guys here? I bet. Thank you. Blake Williamson, baby! Woo! I suck at my thumb. Good boy. Yeah, I know you have Hey, Kinsler! Joe!